195-pound semi in gold is Seth Power from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. He is wrestling James Subak in green from St. Ed's. Once again, Matt Dayton is being shut down. One in four seeds in the tournament. For our Matt number eight, pay attention to the battle. Calvert spins behind, can't quite score as we go out. 30, 135 left first period. Calvert has a pair of falls to get here. Subak has a fall and a decision. put together quite the tournament. Currently sitting in eighth with 84 points. Just is 12 behind Christiansburg for seventh. Broken Arrow, early 2000s, one of the premier teams in those Brandon Tucker teams. They're you know, top five nationally. Still have been a powerhouse in Oklahoma, but haven't been a fixture in the national rankings as recently. This squad, though, is back in the top 20. Certainly a ton of firepower with Calvert, Chase Furman, Dallas Bailey's younger brother. It's a good club that they brought up here from Oklahoma. Certainly would like to put an exclamation point on the long trip with a champ. Calvert has the goods to do it. With 35 seconds left, he and Subak are tied. Subak third place in Ohio last year. Also placed here. And talked about it a little bit during the Abnader match. The new weight classes really have helped St. Ed's this season. Uh, there's going to be a, quite the log jam in their upper weights where they've had semi-finalists from 160 all the way up to this weight class, or all the way up through heavyweight. Um, and with a lot of kids moving up a weight class or two, Abner moving up two weight classes. You know, without adding 82, it could have, one of these guys could have been out. Instead, we can, Ed fits everyone into the lineup, certainly plays a part in their number two national ranking, which could flip where they had to hold this lead. They are now up 20 points on Blair. Both with wrestlers on the mat right now. Chance for Blair to make things up. Big return there by Calvert. Can't quite get a boot in. Subak blocking off. Uh, the semi, as I was saying, a chance for Blair to make up some of these team points. Matei's probably a favorite over on that, too. So Subak would be the underdog here on that one. As Cowher now gets his boot in. Can't quite turn. Oh, how serious leverage has Subak in trouble. No points yet. Nothing yet. Now you're getting back. Looks like a three count, so put two on the board for Seth Cowher. Now a tilt. Just a one count. Calvert so looks uh, tough on to top for a big guy. First time I've had a chance to watch him wrestle. Let it play out. Uh, now riding double legs, trying to stretch out in half. We'll give a stalemate. 45 seconds left. Second period. Seth Calvert leads 2-0. control from top. And Coach's Nightmare choose bottom get turned. You wonder even if Calvert goes top in the third, they're pretty even on their feet. It looks like Calvert has a decided advantage on that. Nothing lead. Who will go under 